so I wanted to make another debunking infinity video and I guess in a way this one will kind of be a debunking video because he uses these shit ass towers like the like the scrounge that he is the scoundrel what are the most overrated racing towers well for me it's it's simple it comes down to uh, there's a couple things at play here one is whether or not you can farm um, the amount of rounds in the race and uh, of course, it, it depends on other towers that are available. In my opinion, in most races, the most overrated towers, and I picked out two of my most hated towers that I would never use in a billion years, regardless of whether or not I thought they were actually going to be useful, which they never would be. Overrated tower number one has got to be fucking Bloom Trap. That piece of shit, I'm sorry, but if you need to throw down traps, and if you have the money to throw down like a $5,000 uh, $5, trap, especially in like a race where there's no monkey knowledge, so you don't get like the extra like um, containment and the extra money or whatever, balloon trap is a huge piece of shit. First of all, the stupid thing almost never drops in time. Um, is like selectively picks what balloons it actually wants to trap and usually if you've got a bunch of fucking leaks going at the door anyway It's gonna be something ridiculous like regrows or a thousand pinks from like round uh, 36 or whatever And it's just gonna be nuts. So throwing down a fucking balloon trap, especially balloon trap spam I mean talk about fucking just hemorrhaging your money and Just ruining your chances of like finishing the race Say, all right, what does that thing even cost? Depends on the mode, but it's expen it's it's expensive as fuck, right? So we'll just go with like forty five hundred cash right now, and we'll assume that monkey knowledge is not on. If you throw down like three of those things, spam three of those. What is that? That's like thirteen thousand five hundred. What's thirteen thousand five hundred times? What's the resale value? Is it 75% by default? I'm not sure because I think there might be a monkey knowledge for it. I, 75 sounds right. So right off the bat you're throwing away like 3500 fucking dollars. Like, it's a shit tower and Infinity loves it because he's like Benedict Arnold Schwarzenegger practically and he likes all the stuff that's like really just trash degenerate towers even more overrated than that shitty fucking tower though has got to be blowback I'm sorry but blowback is the biggest piece of shit first of all it costs like six thousand and like if you opt for if you opt to manually control it and don't use pursuit which is retarded there's no way to even do that that's the only way that you get like the bonus blowback but like I just tested it and with MK on or whatever and it was, like, doing a decent job juggling, like, maybe 10 or 12 balloons. Like, fortified ceramics. But still, for fucking $6,000, that's $6,000. And, and it's worse than fucking Bloom Trap because you don't get, like, any portion of that money back right away. Because you have to keep that shit going. Like, you're throwing away $6,000. It's a joke tower. Like... Why Heli Pilot is ever even enabled, I'll never know. It's like Heli Heli Pilot in general is just a bad tower. It's a stupid tower, and it's basically unusable without pursuit. I realize there's people that think they're like kings of the game that fucking like, oh, who uses pursuit? I keep that on follow so I can like, you know, micro it. It's like no, you don't, you idiot. But um, it's a stupid tower. Base cost in hard mode is something insane. It just got raised to like what, seventeen hundred fifty? What a joke! I mean, seriously. I'm trying to think of some other like stupid bogus towers right now. I'd have to like look at the like tower cards to see what all there is. There's some real fucking shit towers. Maybe I'll do one where I actually like talk about some good towers that aren't used as much. Um. I, boomers in general, I think, are a little bit overrated. Uh, their Pierce is shit. We never, it seems like we never have the fucking, or they're basically unusable in a race unless you get like, um, bottom path, like first, like tier two bottom path. So, oh shit, I'm running out of, um, 
them right here. I guess I'm going to end this. Infinity is Benedict Arnold still. This content. I just thought of my actual most hated tower that everybody seems to love, especially Toby. This isn't a bash on Toby video because I only like to bash on Infinity in videos. But um, Toby is, is like... The name Toby is synonymous with using 030 Druid Queen. I'm sorry, that tower fucking sucks, dude. First of all, I don't care what anybody says. That shit is not instant. It has never been instant. It never will be instant. It is not a good clean, especially when snipers are enabled. Like, I, I'm, I'm trying to think of an actual use for that fucking shit tower. It's got to be catching round 46, and that is it. Like stopping, like if you're leaking like one, like the lead balloon from round 46, the fortified Saram, and you just need like a quick like kill of that. The thing about it is, it it does not prefer it. it, it ha it's supposed to go for the largest balloon on the map that's non Moab class. It does not preference fortified Saram. So if you have a if you have a regular Saram that's badly damaged in front of a like round 46 fortified Saram, it will not target that fortified Saram. It will get the normal Saram. It's a stupid tower. It's like, it's not that insanely expensive, but for what it does, it's useless. Like 1300 bucks or whatever it may be. Stupid fucking tower, awful piece of shit, retarded. Like if I see a strat where people are cleaning with those, I just automatically just like look for a different strat video. If I actually watch strat videos, which I don't, cause I don't need to, cause I'm not infinity. Anyways, yeah, 03 Druid, 030 Druid, stupid idiot tower.